what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video you will learn what is the total value of roll movement and your movement on the vehicle and what is the value of coefficients involved in vehicle roll dynamics so without spending much time let's start now here i am taking bicycle model the tire is steered with steering angle delta given by the average of inner and outer angle of wheel that is cot delta equals to cot delta outer plus cot delta inner divided by 2 the front tire is heading in this direction with velocity vf and making a slip angle of alpha f with the pointing direction of wheel. The angle between the velocity direction and x axis is given by beta. Rear tire is moving in this direction with slip angle alpha r. The forward force on front tire is given by fxf and on rear tire is given by fxr. So from the figure we can write the total value of forward force that is fx equals to fxf cos delta plus fxr minus fif multiplied by sine delta. Lateral force on front tire is fif and on rear tire is fir. This gives us the total value of lateral force equals to fif multiplied by cos delta plus fir. Vehicle is experiencing a yaw moment along z axis at center of mass given by mz that is mz equals to FIF multiplied by cos delta multiplied by A1 minus FIR multiplied by A2. The vehicle roll movement depends upon the movement due to slip, camber movement and movement due to change in normal loads on tire. In vehicle roll dynamics, it is assumed the slip and camber movement are proportional to lateral force. So the combined movement of slip and camber on front tire is given by MXF equals to CTF multiplied by FIF and on the rear tire is given by MXR equals to CTR multiplied by FIR, where CTF and CTR are the overall torque coefficient. Roll movement because of change in normal load on left and right tires results in change in force in springs and damper. These unbalanced force generates roll stiffness movement. It is given by for spring MXK equals to K5 multiplied by phi and for damper MXC equals to minus of C phi multiply by phi dot, where K phi equals to T multiply by Kf plus Kr and C phi equals to T multiply by Cf plus Cr, where T is the track width. So the total value of roll movement is given by Mx equals to Mxf plus Mxr plus Mxk plus Mxc. On putting these values, we get the following value of Mx for small straining angle delta we can write the following values of fx, fy, mx and mz. You all know the slip angle is given by this equation. Here for the bicycle model ay equals to 0, ax equals to a1 for front tire, ax equals to minus a2 for rear tire and az is not constant. In vehicle roll dynamics az equals to c beta where c beta is the tire roll rate coefficient and beta is approximated as vy by vx. On putting these values, we get the following value of slip angle alpha f and alpha r for the front and rear tire respectively. Lateral force is given by fy equals to fif plus fir, which we can write as fy equals to minus of c alpha f multiplied by alpha f minus c phi f multiplied by phi minus c alpha r multiplied by alpha r and minus c phi r multiplied by phi. On putting the values of alpha f and alpha r, we get the total value of lateral force fy. The roll moment mx is given by mx equals to ctf multiplied by fif plus ctr multiplied by fyr minus k phi into phi minus c phi into phi dot. Putting the values of lateral forces fif and fir, we get the total roll moment of vehicle mx. The yaw moment is given by mz equals to a1 multiplied by fif minus a2 multiplied by fir. Putting the values of FIF and FIR, we get the total value of your moment, MZ. So here, you got the total value of lateral force, roll moment and your moment. From the equation of lateral force, FI, you can see lateral force depends upon the variables such as your rate R, roll rate P, angle beta, roll angle phi and steer angle delta. We can write lateral force in terms of partial differentiation of these variables. This gives us fi equals to cr multiplied by r plus cp multiplied by p plus c beta multiplied by beta plus c phi multiplied by phi 
plus c delta multiplied by delta. So partial differentiation will give the values of various coefficient. The coefficients on left hand side of the equations can be found using tire load curves. So here you got the values of all the coefficients in vehicle road dynamics. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.